Hello everyone, Thomas Blue back for another video, and today isn't another Tomy pilot, no. But in fact is rather just a review I did on a diecast Thomas set, take and play, that I had never uploaded. Like I had full intentions of uploading it and everything. I had finished it. But um after finishing it, it just wouldn't upload no matter how many times I tried to put it up. And I believe this was around twenty sixteen I did the review. I don't know. I don't um I, after putting it on my computer, I don't have the original file and the date and all that anymore. Looking back, it was still, you know, pretty okay set. It wasn't as good as some of the older stuff, but it was on clearance when I, you know, when I got it. Well, you wouldn't know because you haven't seen the review yet. So, um, coming up will be the review. And I think the review will speak itself because, you know, it's just the review, I guess. Okay, well, um... See you in the next video, enjoy the review, complete with my old intro from the time, and enjoy. See you next time. Hey guys, Thomas Cooley back with another video. Today we're taking a look at this special Wild Water Rescue Target exclusive Water Works Rescue set. I mean, I didn't really think I was going to get it, but it was on special. So, yeah, um, if you're wondering why the camera's shaky, it's because it's plugged in over there, and I don't really want to wait for it to be charged. So, the front of the box says it's a Target exclusive by Fisher Price, and it's a Wild Water uh, Rescue Seen It on DVD set. So, I mean, it looks pretty cool. I mean, I like the Trackmaster ones better, because the new Take and Play isn't that good, but I'm curious to see specifically if the stock has metal, because there's been a lot of plastic recently. And, okay, the Thomas is special because it has water splashes on its side. It's the, the not-so-good magnet type with a squished cab and the plastic-looking flatbed, so... How good this can be, I don't know. Wait a minute, there's a tilting bridge. You know, tilting bridges are always good. The size just says the same thing we know. I mean, it's the standard stuff. It's in three different languages. The back looks like this. Oops, the back looks like this. It says water bursts over the tracks. Retrieve crates with winch. And if you want to read that, you could pause the video if you could see it. So let's get this um, set open. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, a boxing shot here, with one hand. Look inside the box, it's, it's fairly impressive. Um, I'll say this gives some sound of the This is a fairly impressive one, okay. Uh, eh, that's about everything. Let me just free toss from this plastic prison and assemble this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so after about 10 minutes of confusion and delay, I got it assembled! Hooray! Yeah, it took a while. Uh, the instructions weren't too clear. So, anyway, Thomas is actually old die cast metal. Well, except for the wheels. But his shell is, well, not his face either. But his shell is, that's, you know, something. This is all plastic. All plastic, except for the string, which is, you know, string. But. Basically, what Thomas has to do is come over here. Oh, I don't like the magnets either. Look, you can't couple them in two ways anymore. Like the wooden railway magnets. Also, the tilting bridge is extraordinarily weak. So basically, Thomas is supposed to come over. This is hard to do with one hand, you know. At least tow cable over here. And hook it on. Oh, I'm using my mouth to hold up the iPad, by the way. And pick it up. And so there you go. Yes, 
so he picks it up. And this is actually pretty cool when he hits the water thing. But the thing is, he's not exactly heavy enough to trigger it, but... You know, whatever floats your boat. So Thomas hits it, if it triggers, come on. One trigger for me. 